I'm using a cotton fabric which is 2 meters in length. Now I made one fold widthwise that is selvage on selvage. Now what a selvage is I've explained in one of my previous videos on laying and cutting the fabric. Now make now you fold lengthwise once you have folded widthwise fold lengthwise now I have one two three and four layers fold towards me before cutting any garment iron your fabric remove all the creases and take your time to lay the fabric this side I have four layers of selvage and here I have two folded layers this would be the waist and on my right hand side would be my ankle marking. Now first of all because the layers here are cut, not cut straight I'll just draw a straight line using my set square. Now on left hand side come down by one and a half inches and on the right hand side top come down by half an inch. I'll use a long ruler to connect these two points. We make it slightly sloped at the waist as it gives a better fall to the silver pants. So this is my waistline. That is this is the part which connects to the waistband. Now I've marked half inch below because we'll be adding half inch seam allowance later once we have marked everything. Now from this one and a half inch point mark the length of your leg part that is full length minus your waistband height so my length was 37 out of which 7 inch is the waistband height so I'll mark 30 and that becomes my ankle point draw straight line at that point using your set square and the ankle round I need is 16 I'll mark half of it that is 8 inches now this is up to you, you can make it tighter or looser as per your requirement. So I need 8 inches. Now on the waistband line, I'll mark half of my waistband measurement like the calculation I'd shown on the paper. It was 42 inches, half of it is 21 and as I don't want many pleats, I'll reduce 4 inches. So I'll mark 17 inches or I'll mark 18 inches and at that point mark a perpendicular line that is 90 degree and this angle should be 90 degrees and on this line measure 8 inches which is standard for all and draw a straight line there. This is your crotch part. Now from this intersection go out by 2 inches and using a long ruler connect that point to the ankle. Now at a 90 degree angle here draw a small line and connect to your crotch line. So you're making a slight curve. Now the leg part marking is done. Now add the seam allowance that is half inch on top. The same shape at the crotch. Now here I'll add one and a half inches at the ankle as I would need to give salwar canvas I'll need to add. If you don't have enough fabric then you just add half an inch and you can um, put the salwar canvas on a separate piece of fabric and stitch and fold. But if you have fabric you can just add one and a half inches here. This will be easier. And from here just take it out as you'll be folding this part on the leg part if you make, cut it straight when you fold it would come here 
which you do not want you want when you fold you want it to lie on this line that's the reason I've given this angle now cut the fabric So cut all around, just make one or two notches anywhere on the leg part. That makes it easier when you connect the legs. Okay, so this is my leg part. Now with the remaining fabric, I'll be cutting my waistband. So let me keep this aside. Now this is the leftover fabric after cutting the leg part. Now the, this is the selvage. Now I need 9 inch height because 7 inch for the waistband then another 1.5 inches for making the casing for the drawstring and another half an inch for connecting the leg part and uh, length I would want is 44 inches. Now I may not get that in one piece this leftover fabric so take the other piece also and I've cut it in the center here. Now you'll need to join the pieces and get the required waistband. See, I'm not getting the 9 inch height here, so I'd be joining these two pieces at half an inch. And I'll be getting a bigger piece. Similarly, I'll join here, so I'll get the required length. The fabric I used was just 2 meters or a little less than 2 meters, in fact. So this is how you utilize your fabric. If your pant length is uh, more than 39 inches, or more than 38 inches, you may need around 2.5 meters of fabric. If not, 2 meters would be enough. So first thing I'll need to do is join these pieces. And another piece here. So I get one long piece, then I'll be cutting as much as I need for my waistband. So let me do this now, let us go to the sewing machine. Now I've attached the two pieces and made it like one long piece and I've overlocked the edges so that the fabric does not fray and also it looks neater. So one here and one here. So I have one long piece now which is enough for my waistband. Now fold it in two. Now, like I had shown the calculation earlier, I need 9 inch height and 44 inches in length. So I'll mark 9 inches this way and measure 22 as it is 2 layers, half of the full length and cut it off. So you can use the selvage as well in this. So mark 9 inches upwards. And length I would need is half of 44, that is 22. So I've got my waistband here, cut it off. So this is my waistband and this leftover piece I'll use it for the drawstring later. So this is my waistband and as you know we had kept 2 inches extra for seam allowance that is 1 inch on either side. So mark 1 inch. Now from here my leg part will attach. Alright. Now we need to stitch on this line but not from the beginning. Leave 3 inches. 
leave 3 inches that is for folding we had kept 1 and half inches double of that you leave that is 3 inches start to stitch from here lock stitch and lock at the end so we are stitching from here to here so let's go to the sewing machine